going, I just got out of jail. You said you did what? I had the one on you. You had the one on me? Yeah. Oh, really? I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Show out. I'm showing yeah. out today. I want to put on all my jewelry. I'm hey. looking fresh. Looking I fresh. Fresh up out of jail, I heard these niggas been talking and celebrating. Yeah, I heard these niggas been talking and celebrating. Like I got some P D to charges. No, man, no, we come. Say, man, we coming up out the bank with the money. Yeah, yeah, we coming up out the bank with the money, man. Yeah, yeah, we coming up out the bank with the money. I, like Genie, that nigga say, we coming up out the bank with the money, man. Yeah, 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 we coming up out the bank with the money. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, 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 the judge was mad at me. Uh, yeah, come on, come get a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, then, yeah, then we get the interview money later. Yeah, yeah, we got a hundred thousand dollars just for going to jail. They want to talk to a nigga and they ask me what happened. TMZ posted me, Club Shay Shay calling. Uh, bre all that want to know what, what you do to them animals. Nigga, I ain't done a mother thing to no animal. Yeah, yeah, let me see. We just leaving the bank with all this here, man. Yeah, yeah, we just leaving the bank with all this here. <laughs> P. Diddy, the only nigga in jail with money that can't get out of jail. Yeah, boy, these high lawyers is like genius. And young nigga say, these high lawyers is like genius. Ooh, I heard them niggas been clapping and cheering and cuckooing and ha ha <laughs> Say, I heard them niggas been cheering and thought a nigga was gone, fella. They thought I had P. Diddy charted. I wasn't gonna never come home. Oh, y'all boys, nigga. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and I'm covering this right here because I did drop a video about it last Friday when it broke into pretty much every blog and media outlet that covers the black urban hip-hop type news related things in that conversation that charleston white was arrested on cruelty to animal charges and also uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge and this had been a conversation before already in 2023 i want to say at the end of the year he had came online and spoke about it said that they was giving him a hard time because it was a cop that didn't like him and the cruelty to animal charge is supposed to be something tied to somebody screen recording one of his lives with him macing a cat or something. I got it too. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, I got it too. Oh, I got it. Got that. He don't know what to do. Look, look at him. I done got him. <laughs> Happy. Look at him. He wiping like. And when I saw it hit the blogs and people was putting the update of the arrest, I said either he probably didn't do something he was supposed to do with his bond or didn't meet all his requests and they went and took him back in or something like that. Whatever happened is whatever happened with that situation. But you see him online bragging and boasting. And really, I just when I you when I speak on these type of things, it's gonna get y'all here. This is y'all gonna click. Y'all gonna click the fire. So when y'all come over here with the fire, we gonna give you the other reverse situation of it because I just seen him go online again and he's using these moments to get interviews as you see right there. He's excited about it. Uh, hey man, they calling me for interviews. We getting money now. They booking me this and this and that. And that's what I say, bro. If you find anybody on the internet, find them entertaining. If you like them, you think they entertaining, you like them. That's cool. You can support it. But I just got to keep this conversation all the way a thousand. This, what I call it, the capital C's, controversy, chaos, conflict, confusion, and confrontation to keep the algorithm in rotation for a non-needed, unproductive conversation. That's just what that is, bro. Him going on here making this mockery about, hey, man, we this and we that and disrespecting like I seen them do today. Uh, it, it, it's like, nah, bro, that ain't what we supposed to be on. I'm not going to post that video here of what he said, disrespecting somebody's kid and somebody's loved one that is no longer here with us. If you saw it, you saw it. I'm just like one of them people that's like, when do this stop, bro? It's the same old tired thing. And yeah, we have people in our culture that are our people, that are our people that, you know, grew up in the areas we grew up in. They part of us, but at the same time, they can be doing wrong. But do we go out and do wrong too because we see them doing wrong? None of us are perfect. 
None of us got everything figured out. We all are working in prog. We all are work in progress for sure. But when you intentionally are being the antagonist to be disrespectful, play with people, family, and loved ones, so you can work the algorithm and get paid. I'm like, ah, oh uh, yeah, a rapper might do it, but I think we got to get to a point where we gonna justify us doing some messed up things or things that make entirely no sense or things that are disrespectful. Oh, well, I'm gonna do it because these rappers do it. Y'all like when the rappers do it. So don't tell me nothing when I do it. No, bro, that ain't that. If you want to be that guy, then we got to put you in that category or you just a disrespectful and an antagonist person as well. And if you entertained by that, that's fine. But we not finna push this out here is this is something we need. This is something that's productive something that we should be listening to and learning from. We can't learn from somebody who out here is intentionally being an antagonist, intentionally going and starting fires and starting problems and trying to test themselves to things so they can go viral on the internet, be a part of the talking point and get booked for these things. Make your money, get rich, go ball out, go be a billionaire. I'm just talking about the narrative of what people trying to push on the internet right now with these type of things and justify somebody out here disrespecting people, family members, and loved ones. We need to eliminate that out of the culture, period, from everybody. That's all I'm saying. This ain't just about this person, that person, that rapper, this rapper, because this is what I'm pushing. When, you, when somebody disrespects your deceased loved one or your child, you got to know what type of energy that uh, a type of what type of feeling that puts out there in the universe to them, but not just that person, they loved ones, the people around them, the people they care about, they other kids, they other family members and things like that. And if you still can't find it in your heart to say, Hey bro, I don't need to disrespect that man family or his loved ones or somebody he lost that he loved. I don't need to do that. You still can't find that in your heart. What if when your day come, people do that to your family? You want your family to have to get that same type of treatment that you out here putting out? You know what I'm saying? Because that's who left the deal with this stuff in the end. Dissing you while you gone don't hurt you no more. It, 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 it's, it's what you leave for your people to deal with when that type of vibe start coming back. And I understand what some of our people grew up at and what they got raised in in these environments. But I'm always tell us, bro, that ain't what we supposed to be doing, bro. That ain't who we are as a people. I get it, though. It's part of the game. It's part of the culture in a certain extent. This ain't me shutting my people away. I'm just trying to raise awareness of what we doing and how you affecting your loved ones as well and what you could possibly have them going through in the, in the future and things like that. That's all I'm pushing on it. And for somebody who really just does it to antagonize and ain't really got no ties to it, putting they self in other people beefs and problems and using it as a tool to market. That ain't, that ain't it to be bro. But to each his own, do what y'all do. We got more coming, more videos, all that 1000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.